guys! This video is about things to avoid to keep your guinea pigs healthy and happy. The first thing is don't bathe them on a regular basis. Guinea pigs clean themselves. While your room might look like a mess once your guinea pigs are done with floor time, they are very clean pets and don't really require baths. There are medical reasons for baths, in which case your vet advises you to bathe them, but the water strips their coat of its natural oils, so it's better to avoid bathing them. Don't wait too long to see a vet if you think your guinea pig might be sick. Guinea pigs are prey animals and excellent at hiding their illnesses. When they start looking really sickly, their illness has usually progressed quite a bit. Make sure to take them to a vet and get them checked out. The earlier you spot an illness, the better the chances are for treatment. Don't put a leash on your guinea pig. They have very delicate spines and you might end up hurting your guinea pig. They also can't be walked and it's very cruel to put a harness on them. If you want your guinea pigs to enjoy some time outside their cage, provide some floor time for them. Set up an area where they can roam and explore freely. Don't get a single guinea pig. They need the company of other guinea pigs and strive in a herd. They are not meant to be alone and need other guinea pigs to spend time with. Don't put vitamin C drops in their water. Your piggy might not like the taste of the drops and drink less. This can be harmful as guinea pigs need about 100 milliliters of water a day. Don't put a bunny or rabbit in your guinea pig's cage as a companion. Guinea pigs need the companionship of other guinea pigs, not of other pets. Rabbits communicate differently and they don't speak the same language as guinea pigs. Their diet is also different. Guinea pigs and rabbits can live together in the sense that they don't kill each other, but they can communicate and a rabbit, because it is much larger than a guinea pig, can seriously injure a guinea pig by accident. Rabbits also like to cuddle with each other and will often force their guinea pig partner to cuddle. This might look cute and loving to a human, but guinea pigs prefer to sleep really close to other guinea pigs without touching them. Sometimes guinea pigs can be seen cleaning each other, but they do that very infrequently. Due to its much larger size, a rabbit forces the guinea pig to cuddle because they don't share the same body language. These were a few tips. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you want to see some common misconceptions about guinea pigs, then click right here. See you guys next time. Bye!